Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Empty Lifestyle. We're down here in Mahi Bay on the big island in Hawaii and while we're down here enjoying ourselves doing some diving, Orca Torch sent us a dive light to do a review with us on this trip. This is going to be the Orca Torch's D710 V dive light. It's going to be three options, white, red, and ultraviolet. We're going to take this light out and check it out, do some dives with it. Let's open it up and take a look. So here's the shipping box that comes in. It comes in a bigger box, but this is the, the, the box for the package itself. Let's open it up. As you can see, they have the nice hard case that we've seen earlier when doing reviews for Orca Torch. We really like that, especially when we do a lot of traveling. Help keep our light protected. We have warranty card. Operator's manual. This is going to be some of the products that Orca Torch covers they have provided so you can always kind of peruse and see what else, else you want to buy. We have a little lanyard that we could use to attach our light to. Kind of a little cheapo lanyard but they provide you something to attach it to you. The light itself, charging cable, three spare o-rings, A battery with a charging port built right into the battery. When you plug it in and charge it, it'll have a right, red light when it's charging, a green light when it's full. Here's your light. As you can see, it's got three O-rings built in to help keep it protected. So what also comes with the Orca Torch D710 V light is a ball mount joint that attaches to your camera tray. I've already went ahead and attached it to my camera tray right here so you could either use it as a primary light for your camera tray so you could take your video or pictures or as an extra ad additional light to your camera tray. You can also attach the light itself to your person. They give you a little lanyard but I I recommend using these retractable cables. It is so much safer so you don't have any dangly bits that getting caught on parts of a shipwreck or reef or anything like that. These will just go retract right back to the original state. Clip them on your D-ring so it's a more controlled piece of equipment on your kit. To use our little ball joint mount, very easy. First what we need to do is we need to take the light apart. So we have the light taken apart. Then just loosen the set screw right here. Put the light right in there. We're just going to have that just a little tight, not too tight. Put our battery in, positive side to the front. Try not to cross your threads. Now, have the set screw loosen up a little bit. You want this button side up. So you can see the power indicator on the button side. There's a little light built in that button side that will teach you kind of like what the level is of that button. Green, you're good. And uh, there's orange, red, and then flashing red. Now you can be able to use your light as an additional light or as one of your primary video lights. So the Orca Torch D710 dive light, this is going to be a 2000 lumen dive light. It's going to have a 120 degree angle beam. It's got three O-rings built right in. It also gives you three spare O-rings in the box it comes with. This is going to help make the dive light be water resistant all the way up to 150 meters. That's like 492 feet deep. So that basically you could take this dive light on tech diving depths. So our modes for this light, first we're in off, we hit it, depress the button once, <clears throat> that puts us in high, the next one is low, the next one is red, the next one is ultraviolet, and the next one is off. While traveling with this dive light, if you put this dive light in your check bag, make sure there's no battery in that dive light. The common practice is to carry all of your batteries for your cameras, your lights, camera lights, dive lights, all that stuff should be on your person, in the plane with you, on your carry-on. There is a locking device where when you're going out to the boat to use your light, I'm going to show you this. It's a little locking device. So first, we're going to depress this button for five seconds and it should flash. There it goes. Now if we try to press the button, it doesn't come on. We put depress it twice quick, it'll come on. There we go. And then we can have use our light. 
All details about the Orca Torch D710 dive light will be posted in the description below. I'll also have the link where you could click on it to be able to go purchase this light. Check the description below. Now let's get in the water and let's get wet. To help make this video possible, I want to give a special shout out to Nate for setting up these trips as well as his wife, Lauren. Thank you guys so much. And as well as Jack's diving locker. Thank you. What an amazing crew to help make these dives happen. So on this dive, we're going to have the light on a retracting cable. The first setting is going to be the white light, 2000 lumens at one hour and 30 minutes runtime. And then we have the lower setting, which is going to be 600 lumens at three hours and five minutes runtime. And then you have the red setting, which is going to be at 125 lumens at four hours and 30 minutes. You can really see that battery indicator, that green light on the button. The next switch is going to be the UV light at 2.5 lumens at six hours and 40 minutes. And you can really see the 120 degree angle beam that really gives off on this light. So while we're looking for critters to test this light out on, as I said before, I'll be using the Orca Torch D710V video light on a retractable cable as well as mounted on my camera tray using it by itself as well as in combination with my other lights you will also see lights from other divers as we are diving in a group on all these dives This Orca Torch dive light did an amazing job being able to spotlight creatures as well as searching for them in little crevices in the coral. Even fish at night decided to use my light off the Orca Torch to hunt for prey as they're swimming around the coral late at night. Using the UV option on the light, I wasn't able to find much coral that was reacting to it, but I did find these little anemones that were glowing bright green right in the light. And even though dozens of other divers had their bright lights out, videoing all these majestic manta rays, the Orca Torch still stood out bright at 2000 lumens, attracting the food for the manta rays as they were swooping down, coming within inches of us, getting the little critters right off of the Orca Torch dive light. So I hope you enjoyed this product review of Orca Torch D710 Dive Light. What an amazing dive light. Um, I really wish we were doing some coral diving so I could really put this ultraviolet light to the test, but unfortunately we just didn't have that planned in this trip. But we were able to go out and test this light by having it just on the cable attached to us and on our camera trays to look at some of the amazing life down here in the big island of Hawaii. So thank you once again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit like, make sure you guys hit the bell so you're up to date on all of our adventures on Cooper's Empty Lifestyle. Take care, be safe. And you can also check out the merch, we have merch, that's in the description below. Take care.